the second pollutant is methyl bromide gas. Methyl bromide gas, it is used as an insecticide to preserve stored agriculture crops. The third one is halons. Halons, they are used in fire extinguishers to put out fires. The final pollutant for ozone is nitrogen oxides. Nitrogen oxides are produced from the burning of fuel of ultrasonic aeroplanes, which are called Concorde aeroplanes. Nitrogen oxides are produced from burning of fuel of ultrasonic aeroplanes, which are known as Concorde. What is the effect of CFC's compounds on ozone layer? CFC compounds erode ozone layer in three steps. The chemical formula for CFC compounds is CFCl3. By the help of ultraviolet, this chlorofluorocarbon is broken into CFCl2 plus free chlorine atom. This free chlorine atom will react with ozone molecule forming one molecule of oxygen and one molecule of chlorine monoxide. This chlorine monoxide will react with another molecule of ozone and two oxygen molecules will be formed plus one chlorine atom. This chlorine atom will destroy more amounts of ozone gas as you can see from this video. Chlorine monoxide we react with oxygen, then we have another free chlorine atom which will destroy more ozone molecules and so on. This process is repeated again and again and again leading to the erosion of ozone layer. How can we protect ozone layer from erosion? This forced international community to gather at Montreal and write down Montreal Protocol in 1987 and Montreal Protocol in 1990. Montreal Protocol which is held in Canada in 1987 which is signed by 191 nations. They reached a group of recommendations. Some of them Using of CFC compounds must be reduced and find safer alternatives. Stop producing the ultrasonic Concorde planes as their exhaust affect the ozone layer. In Montreal Protocol, which is held in London in 1990, they modify the protocol in a way that all nations must ban the production of handling CFC compounds. What's meant by non-CFC? Non-CFC means that these products don't contain chlorofluorocarbon compounds. The second part of this lesson is global warming phenomenon. What's meant by global warming phenomenon? It is the continuous increase in the average temperature of the Earth's near surface air. The temperature of the planet Earth increases year after another. Note the following. If we added vinegar to sodium bicarbonate powder, it will give carbon dioxide gas. And the increase of the concentration of carbon dioxide gas leads to the increasing of temperature. And we will see that increasing the ratio of carbon dioxide is one of the most important reasons for the increase of the temperature of planet Earth. Give reason 4. The temperature of planet Earth 
has been increasing since 1935. This is due to increasing of the greenhouse gases, especially carbon dioxide. Note the following. The ultraviolet radiations has a chemical effect. This is because it plays an important role in forming ozone molecule and in destroying ozone molecule by the help of chlorofluorocarbon compounds. While infrared radiations has a thermal effect because infrared radiations are the reason for global warming. Give reason for increasing the ratio of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide gas ratio increases because of the following. Fossil fuel burning, cutting trees, forest fires. Greenhouse effect. What's meant by greenhouse effect? As you can see from this video, greenhouse effect, it is the trapping of infrared radiation in the troposphere layer due to the increase of the ratio of greenhouse gases which cause the increase of the planet earth temperature this is what's meant by greenhouse effect give reason for the infrared radiations cannot penetrate the atmosphere this is because it has a long wavelength and the atmosphere plays the role of glass in the greenhouse as it permits only the visible light and short wave rays produced from the sun to pass. The earth and its components absorb these rays and re-emit the radiation back in the form of infrared. Infrared is kept trapped in the troposphere causing global warming phenomenon. The most important greenhouse gases carbon dioxide gas its ratio increased in the atmosphere to 0.038% in 2005 after it was 0.031%. The second one is chlorofluorocarbon or CFC compounds the third one is CH4 or methane gas. The fourth one is N2O or nitrous oxide. The last one is H2O or water vapor. As you can see from this video, this is water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane or CH4, and N2O. What are the negative effects of global warming phenomena? Number one, melting of ice and snow of both South and North Pole. This threats coastal areas as they could drown. As you can see, melting of ice will increase the level of water in seas and oceans. This will cause the drown of coastal areas. Also, it will cause extension of some polar animals like polar bear and seals. The second negative effect for global warming is severe climatic changes such as the repeated occurrence of tropical hurricanes such as Hurricane Katrina in 2005, destructive floods, draft waves and finally forest fires. How can we overcome global warming? These bad destructive effects made 160 nations in Kyoto, Japan in 1997 to sign a protocol called Kyoto Protocol that suggests reducing the ratio of bad emissions by cutting down consumption of fossil fuel. Number two. Searching for environmental friendly alternative energy resources. This is the end of lesson 2. Thanks for watching.